Now, the world watched with bated breath as American troops fled from Saigon during the withdrawal from Vietnam. One of the stories that touched a chord here in the UK was the fate of 99 orphans who faced abandonment in the war-ravaged city. Well, Vicky Cowley was one of those children brought to Sussex and raised in Eastbourne, and we'll be having a chat with Vicky in just a moment about her quest to find the other orphans who came here with her. But first, Kerry Perkins reports on the extraordinary events of 1975. Vicky Cowley looks through a newspaper archive from 1975 and spots herself. Oh, God. That's me. <laughs> that is me. Vicky was front page news at the end of the Vietnam War. Saigon had fallen. And the world was worried about the fate of the city's orphans. It was believed they were in danger from the invading North Vietnamese troops. And so the Americans organized airlifts to bring the babies to the West. The Daily Mail newspaper felt that just reporting this wasn't enough. They decided to charter their own plane and have their own baby airlift back to Britain. And one of those babies, seen here in the middle, was Vicky. There was pandemonium and chaos. There was threat of mass slaughter of all these, all these babies that were being abandoned. Many were brought to this refugee home called Ockenden Venture in Surrey. They were then placed with foster parents all around the country and there seemed no shortage of volunteers. I wanted to do something desperately to help and I've got a happy family and I thought this was my way. But few records exist of exactly what arrangements were made and where all the Vietnamese babies ended up. So the whereabouts of many today remains a mystery. Now Vicky's made it her mission to find them. At 36, she wants to know more about her past and hopes that by locating other adoptees, they can benefit from sharing whatever they can remember of what happened and find out who they really are. Kerry Perkins, BBC Southeast Today. Well, I'm delighted to say that Vicky Cowley joins us now. Thanks for coming in, Vicky. How does it feel watching that back and seeing the footage from Vietnam? It's very strange. It's, um, I've, I've never seen it in moving pictures before. So it's, it is incredible. And to see it all in, in a film like that, it's just wonderful. I mean, when you were a child and growing up in Eastbourne, did, did you think about Vietnam at all? What was your sort of feelings towards where you came from? Because obviously your adopted parents told you all about it. Well, I've always known that I've been a little bit different, always, you know, a little bit different from, from everyone else. I, I know that I'm foreign looking. Um, my parents have always told me exactly, you know, where I've come from and what they know of the story behind it. Um, and I've never wanted, really, to find out anything about it. But you didn't know your birth date, did you? So no. what does that do for your sense of identity you must have thought you know when was I born who were my parents because I, I I knew that I didn't know when my birthday was it's it's something that's that's been a fact of my life all my life so it's something that I knew that I'd never find out so there, there was no point in doing anything about it but you are doing something about it now so what's prompted it it was just a conversation I had with someone someone asked me if you wait another 10, 15 years, would you regret it? Would it be too late? And yes, so I knew I had to do something now. So you, you want to get in touch with other orphans? I'd love right? to. I'd love to just get in touch with uh, so many people. I realise every time I, I meet someone new that they, they feel, they act, they, they think the same things that I do when I thought all this time that I was lonely as a cloud thinking these these thoughts thank you so much for coming in yeah, it's thank been you. lovely to talk to you and tonight's on inside out you can see more on vicky's uh, story and her reunion with some of the orphans who were also airlifted from saigon that's at 7 30 here on bbc one well, let's move on to sport now and charlton athletic fans are coming to terms with what many are calling the worst cup result in the club's history yes the addicts who of course were in the premier league only a couple of years ago have been knocked out of the fa cup by non-league northwich